aí, docinhos? Bom, o vídeo de hoje é aquele que vocês tanto me esperaram e tanto me pediram, que é a entrevista com a Breeze Blossom. Bom, o vídeo vai ser em inglês, a entrevista vai ser em inglês pra gente poder se comunicar melhor, mas fiquem tranquilos que todas as partes em inglês vai ter uma legenda em português pra vocês poderem entender. É, antes de começar, só peço pra deixarem seu like, se inscreverem aqui embaixo no canal e ativarem o sininho pra receberem notificações dos próximos vídeos. Então, vamos lá! First, I just want to say thank you so much, Bruce Blossom, to, for accepting the interview. You are a big inspiration for me in the lady fashion. I really love your outfits and you are an amazing people. Thank you so, so much. Uh, let's start the first question. Who did you meet the lady fashion and why did you decide to follow the style? Uh, como você conheceu a moda Lolita e por que decidiu seguir esse estilo? Hello, my beautiful Portuguese Lolitas. I'm Breeze Blossom, I'm Kawaii Ambassador of Mexico, and I'm very, very glad to have this interview with Candy Rodriguez. <laughs> She's an amazing friend, and she wants me to do some um, questions that I, w I will answer. I'm sorry if my English is not very good. <laughs> my native um, language is Spanish, so if I, I don't know some English term, I think I will speak in Spanish, I'm sorry. <laughs> But I would like to send you a lot of uh, greetings to all of you because you're amazing and you all are, um, I admire you so much because uh, Portuguese and Brazilian Lolitas are very, very stylish. I love all of your style and I feel very amazed to do this interview so then I can greet you, I can um, be friends with you and I hope to meet you soon. <laughs> Well, uh, let's start with the questions. Uh, thank you so much for uh, having me here and to make me um, talk to you. Um, th this is not a live stream uh, interview because um, we had some problems with internet connection, but I hope you like it. I hope uh, we can get fun and I hope um, you can know, know me a little bit more. But let's start with the question. Question number one is, how did you meet Lolita Fashion and why did you decide to follow this style? Well, I met Lolita Fashion when I was, um, I think, in uh, 2006. I've been dressing Lolita Fashion for about uh, 13 years. Wow! <laughs> Yeah, it's been too much time since I first wore Lolita fashion, but um, I think it's amazing this fashion. I started knowing the, know, uh, this fashion because I was in 2006 um, in internet and then I saw one issue of Kera magazine. Uh, remember, Kara Magazine was a, an amazing um, information um, review of all uh, Karajuku styles in Japan. So when I um, start to uh, being in internet, I saw um, an issue, and it was a Lolita there. Uh, I didn't know at that time uh, if it was Lolita fashion or not, but I said, "Wow, I love that uh, style." It was an old school. A uh, black and white uh, Lolita um, uh, model, and, and I was like, "Oh, I want to dress like that! I I love this fashion. What is it? I want to investigate more about it." And that's why I began to be um, investigating more about this fashion, and I start began to wear it uh, to wear this fashion when it was 2009. And I wore my first Lolita uh, style <laughs> clothes and it was amazing. Um, I decided to follow this style because I, I always wanted, um, I was interested in all 
aesthetic, historic, historic aesthetic, um, cultural and social uh, movements of Rococo Victorian style, and was very interesting in those styles uh, and this historic era. And that's why when I saw this issue, I felt like oh, I have to follow this style. And it took me like three years to be investigating more about this fashion because I wanted to to wear it uh, the most perfect I could and that's why I began to to use this fashion and until now and I think as I was uh, talking with a friend uh, I think Lolita fashion follows you until death you will never quit Lolita fashion no matter how uh, maybe you can stop uh, wearing it but um, you still watch it in internet and you still um, maybe uh, wear it not more frequently but the fashion is still there and the interest in the fashion and to be reading about it is still there and the fashion won't leave you no matter what so uh, once a Lolita always a Lolita. <laughs> what is the writing experience you had while wearing Lolita? Qual foi a experiência mais estranha que aconteceu enquanto você usava a moda Lolita? Well, um, I think I have not much <coughs> worse experiences. Maybe um, some when secrets were like the iconic uh, topic. Uh, last years, I think, and that's that's ha this has been like the worst experience I already had because secrets try to um, stop, um, make you stop to wear Lolita fashion because it criticizes um, like just style or maybe your behavior, and that makes you to um, stop maybe to wear a little bit the fashion. I think secrets have been like the worst experience I had, but um, since I think like since 2013 year, I haven't received any secret, so I I'm still happy, and I I have learned that no matter uh, a person criticize you anonymously but internet or by making you secrets. If you want the fashion, no matter what, just keep dressing it because it's ma it makes you happy. And that's the most important feeling you you will have if you still uh, be dressing in Lolita fashion. So if your parents, your family, some friends, um, in internet by secret, if someone criticize you, please don't pay attention. Uh, pay attention to, to your feelings and if you feel like Lolita fashion is the best for you, you feel pretty, you feel like a princess and that special feeling when wearing this fashion, please don't let it go, uh, don't pay attention to the people and still wear the fashion, continue to wear it and do like me. Uh, my family didn't want to wear this fashion and they began to criticize me very frequently and I was like, okay, um, continue, please keep cri criticizing me, I will still wear this fashion, no matter what, no matter what you say, uh, I love it and it makes me feel happy, it, ma it warms my heart and that's the main reason I wear this fashion. So please, if you want this fashion, please keep wearing it. You won't regret it. Styles and one you wouldn't wear. Substitutes favoritos e algum que você não usaria. The fashion I like to wear all of the all of the styles. I love gothic Lolita, classic Lolita, and most of all, sweet Lolita. Now I'm wearing like a mini mouse. Inspiration, <laughs> Lolita Inspiration. I hope you like it <laughs> because um, I love sweet fashion. I love lo sweet Lolita, and I also love Hima Lolita. Princess like to wear a lot of crowns, pearls, frills. I, f I think I feel very elegant and pretty. Also, Sweet Lolita suits me. I think it suits me well because uh, since I'm like kind of cute, people tell me 
the people keep telling me that I feel I I look like very cute. So this is tell they tell me it suits me well. So I, I love sweet Lolita because I think my heart is like very cute. <laughs> And it fits me. Why not? And maybe a style I wouldn't wouldn't wear. Mm, I think none, none of them. I haven't wear. Uh, I haven't worn um, Gore Lolita. You know the one of creepy one with some blood and horror style. But I think I will wear it someday because it's very interesting for me. I love Halloween. Halloween is one of my favorite seasons of all time. So I hope one one uh, someday to wear in Halloween Gore Lolita. <laughs> So I think every sub Lolita substyle, I love it. Even though I haven't experienced it to wear it, like uh, Key Lolita, I haven't worn it also. But I hope to wear it soon. <laughs> Tell me your favorite brands and um, music as the brands favorite. Well, oh, <laughs> I love a lot of brands. My favorite one is well, <laughs> it's. It's Angelic Pretty. That's my favorite brand of all time. <laughs> also, my other favorite brand because I love um, gothic, gothic, gothic Lolita fashion. Even though I, I don't wear it more frequently than I would in Sweet Lolita, but I I love I do love Gothic Lolita. So the other one of my favorite brands it's Mohamed Mathieu. I had the opportunity to meet uh, Manasama. Wow, it was an amazing experience. And I feel very, very glad to finally meet one of my best and favorite icons of all time, Manasama. And I felt pretty because I had the opportunity to model f for Mohamed Moitié next to, next to Manasama. It was wow, amazing. And I also had the opportunity to uh, model for Angel Pretty in an event we organized in my in my uh, country. It was in Monterey, a very far city from where I live, but it was also an amazing ex experience. Also, one of my favorite brands, it's Baby the Star Shine Bright, and I also fortunately had the opportunity to model for this brand. It was in the United States um, like three years ago, and it was, wow, so amazing experience. I had like the magic... Um, moment to model for my three favorite brands of all time. <laughs> I also have a favorite brand that it's called Mary Magdalene. It's not in um, in sale anymore, but it still good being very good. I have uh, just one dress, but it's one of my dream dresses of all time. What do you like and doesn't like in Lolita fashion? Uh, o que você gosta e o que não gosta na moda Lolita? Um, I do like the aesthetic that uh, makes you feel like you're like a princess. The, also the ideology that is behind all this fashion. The, the uh, empowerment you feel like women or maybe not women because also men can wear this fashion but when you dress in this fashion you feel so powerful you feel like uh, like Novala Takemoto said like it's your armor to be uh, to face all the uh, issues of life so I feel like um, I love this power Lolita fashion makes you feel because I'm I, I think as a lawyer, I have to be um, very brave, very serious in my work, but I also want to look and feel happy, to feel pretty. And that's um, what Lolita fashion makes me feel. And, and that's one of the most amazing feelings I do have in Lolita fashion, to feel pretty from inside and to reflect it to uh, to the society from outside. That's one of the amazing uh, things in Lolita fashion.
And what do I uh, I just don't like? I don't like in Lolita fashion. I think like I said before, maybe secrets or when on uh, your uh, Lolita friends, your colleagues, because we are colleagues and we are sisters and brothers. Uh, uh, when they began to criticize new Lolita beginners, that's one of the things I don't like in Lolita fashion because as sisters, as colleagues in Lolita fashion, we need to be together. We need to help new people to be into this fashion because we, we start, um, in, we start like with all mis uh, very uh, few mistakes and a lot of mistakes in this fashion. So we need to be patient. We need to help our friends. So uh, we must uh, stop criticizing new Lolitas. And also, if you don't like a, an outfit, please le let's uh, stop to criticize other Lolitas. I think that's, that will increase our number of Lolita members and it will help us to uh, be more united and to be happy so then everyone will enjoy this fashion. Do you like anime, the Japanese animations? If yes, what is your favorite? Uh, você gosta de anime, uh, as animações japonesas? Se sim, qual é o seu favorito? Well, <laughs> I do like anime, <laughs> and my favorites one are uh, like the when I was a kid, I used to uh, watch a lot of anime. So it's there are the classic ones like Sailor Moon, uh, Dragon Ball, <laughs> uh, Sanseya. I do love Sanseya, and also new ones like the classics. Also the classic ones like uh, Inuyasha. I love Inuyasha. It's like my husband <laughs> and also like Nar Naruto and um, maybe shoujo I love to watch shoujo my favorite shoujo it's fruits basket fruits basket it's uh, I'm very amazed uh, I'm very glad because it will uh, they will do a remake so I'm hoping to watch it soon this year it will start, so whoa, I feel very happy <laughs> to watch this uh, new anime, this new cover. So what well, those are my favorite animes. Uh, how was your first Lolita outfit? Como foi o seu primeiro outfit Lolita? Oh, <laughs> well, it was a total mess. <laughs> yeah, um, I do want to be honest with you. We all Lolitas start. Uh, being itas, why not? But being ita is not bad. It's very good because it helps you to improve. That um, mm, that um, moment when you began to improving your fashion, that's amazing because it helps you to have like a um, chrono chronologic um, improvement uh, schedule. So then you can learn and you can be uh, perfection, uh, like uh, in, in nation, in nation, um, improving your fashion uh, through time. So it will help you f to get more experience into this fashion. So don't worry if you feel very bad if your fashion is not like you think. It's completely normal to feel like a mess, to feel Ita. I did felt Ida, but I, I do felt like a princess. That first feeling to feel like a princess is one of the most amazing feelings you will ever have. How is the Mexican Lolita community? Como é a comunidade Lolita mexicana? Well, we are very, uh, very friendly. We love to hug and to be happy and to dance and sing and to have, uh, to drink beer also. <laughs> when we are in tea parties, we do love to have uh, post parties and to be in bars and to drink beer. Why not? Also to dance in Paris and, and have a party. So we, we do have a lot of fun. <laughs> and we love to we would love to have Brazilian Lolitas in Mexico I will I, I will be organizing a national event uh, next year in 2020 in March it will be March 14 and 15 in my city in Guadalajara so I would love to 
see a lot of Brazilian Lolitas there. So then we can get together and you can know more a little bit, uh, a little bit more about our Mexican Lolita community. We are very friendly. And we want to, to join um, beginners uh, into this fashion. So we try not to criticize them. We try to um, include them because we have that ideolo ideology of inclusion. Uh, every man, every woman, no matter the age, the complexion, preferences, or, um, sexual orientation, no matter. Uh, we want to include into our fashion. So we are trying and we are improving to be more friendly and to be inclusive. How do people usually react when they see a wearing Lolita? How do people usually react when they see a wearing Lolita? Well, that um, sounds like a little bit... Um unconventional or maybe not so frequently but most of the people they tell me uh, I do look pretty I do look like a princess I don't uh, usually get uh, criticized from uh, other people from normies they usually like my fashion and I feel very pretty and I feel very thankful to all of those people because I feel so with support and that's one of the most amazing feelings of all that. So, wow, <laughs> I've been very lucky, I think. People usually like the way I, I dress and they always want me to make, take for, uh, to be in photos with them and I feel good. I, I try to help them and to be in photos with all, with all of those people. So, <laughs> yeah, I think I feel lucky. Thank you so to all of them who like my fashion. Thank you so much. <laughs> How many do take to a desert island? What do you want to take to a island desert? Island? Wow, that's an unconventional question. <laughs> I think I will take um, water, supplies, basic supplies, <laughs> food, and also my Lolita fashion. Why not? <laughs> but since I will be in a desert island, I think, well, maybe just two outfits because it, it will be like kind of difficult to be uh, <laughs> to be walking in a desert island. But I think I will still feel pretty if I feel if I be dressing in Lolita fashion. <laughs> so uh, I think, yeah, uh, water and basic supplies, food, and also my Lolita fashion. Maybe two outfits. <laughs> well, let's go to the questions of the subscribers. Vamos às perguntas dos inscritos. Number one, what are your inspirations in Lolita fashion? Question by Laís Lolita. Um, quais, são, quais são suas inspirações na moda Lolita? Pergunta da Laís Lolita. Beijinhos! Thank you so much. Ask me about that. Well, one of my best uh, favorite inspirations is Misako Aoki because she is the Kawaii ambassador, the first Kawaii ambassador um, elected for the uh, Ministry of of foreign affairs in 2009 so she's been doing a lot for this fashion she's one of my favorite inspirations as and uh, also as i said before it's also manasama <laughs> how is the feeling of being a kawaii ambassador question by alice cunha uh, como é o sentimento de ser uma embaixadora kawaii pergunta da alice cunha beijinhos alice do you want me to be honest the feeling is completely the same as not being a kawaii ambassador <laughs> uh, it's like i've been doing the same thing as when i was not a kawaii ambassador i feel very glad very uh, uh, very happy to be named as kawaii ambassador because the misako oki and all the kawaii lolita association had the eyes of me uh, has, uh, put the, the eyes on me to to tell them and to um, be one of the uh, most representatives people of my country and i feel very proud but honestly i since i began into this fashion i always wanted to promote this fashion i don't do promotion and i don't wear it because i i feel the uh, obligation to do it as kawaii ambassador no this uh, uh, my way to to dress into this fashion is because I like it. It's a hobby for me. And all the uh, elections, all the
the appointments they do to me. I feel very good. Thank you so much. But I do because I like this fashion, not because I feel obligated to do it. So don't worry if you're not a kawaii ambassador. If you like this fashion, please keep doing it because the most and um, the main feeling is to feel happy, to feel that like you're helping others to dress into this fashion and you can contribute into this fashion world and uh, wearing it and to be like an inspiration to other people and to help them to to wear this fashion. So that's the main reason and the, the most important feeling of this fashion more than being a kawaii ambassador. I hope to to be I hope you can you uh, I was on uh, you can understand me because my Eng English is not that So you have advice for the beginners. Uh, você tem um conselho para os iniciantes? Pergunta da Sami. Yes, I do. Uh, one of the most important advices I can give you is that wear this fashion no matter what, no matter what people said, no matter what um, internet or social media or other girls criticize you, don't worry, don't pay attention to them. If you like this fashion, your love will be more, uh, st will be stronger that will help you to finally help uh, other people to realize that Lolita fashion is your final goal, your final, um, uh, your final uh, destination, um, the most important thing that you will love to wear. So if you have parents that doesn't allow you to wear this fashion, or if you have uh, some friends that criticize you, please uh, don't let this to let you down. Continue to wear this fashion until they finally realize this is the the best um, your the best fashion for you. Uh, the fashion you love the most and they will understand finally and they will leave you finally with all your um, special uh, um, your the things that you like I am um, also I can tell you that um, if you don't know how to wear it uh, this fashion you can investigate more you can look into internet for more photographs uh, to get some Lolita role model inspirations so then you can follow those people and you can uh, watch how they are uh, dressing and then you can do your own style and you can experiment with different sub Lolita sub styles so then you can finally until you can finally um, walk and to find your um, final um, the the final um, fashion that you will like to wear because you have to experiment with all so Lolita soap styles because I I I didn't want to wear sweet Lolita until I some time ago experimented it and I worn it and surprise surprisingly I love this style and I will continue to be dressing into sweet Lolita. Because I had the uh, opportunity to wear it. So don't worry, keep wearing this fashion until you can finally have the opportunity to, uh, to finally find the perfect style for you. And if this is not a, an advice just for Lolita fashion, it's for any kind of fashion you would like to experiment and to begin to wear. So uh, remember, no matter what, people say you just keep wearing this fashion until they finally realize that you love this fashion and they will leave you alone they, they will accept you as a Lolita and um, they will understand so don't worry keep trying and if you want to have some advices you can write me um, I'm. You can follow me. It's uh, my social media. If you would like to follow me, I will appreciate it so much. It's Breeze Blossom. I have Instagram and Facebook, and I will eventually have a YouTube channel, so then we can talk together. And don't worry, you can message me, and I can help you to get uh, into more into this fashion and to give you some advice. How to dress the summer since most of the Lolita clothes are so worn? Question by Jeff. 
É, como você se veste no verão? Sendo que as roupas de Lolita geralmente são muito quentes. Pergunta do Jeff. Beijinho, Jeff. Well, I have the lucky um, moment. Um, I'm, I have the. Um, I feel like very lucky because I'm living in a city that it's not very warm, so I can in summer still um, be uh, wearing this fashion uh, with no regrets. <laughs> I can still wear my my wig, and also I do love to wear uh, sleeve long sleeves. <laughs> Those are my favorite ones. Uh, you won't see me more frequently with short sleeves <laughs> because I don't like them. And since my city is not that warm, I ha I can wear long sleeves with uh, not dying in <laughs> in the process of it. I I won't die because <laughs> my city is not that warm. But uh, anyways, I still uh, try to wear if it's very hot, like v short wigs and also a uh, chiffon. Uh, this, for example, is is made by chiffon. Uh, chiffon helps you to feel more um, with more uh, cool, uh, not that warm. So I recommend you, if Brazil is very hot, to uh, to wear this fashion with light light fabrics as chiffon. I recommend chiffon so much because you don't have to bleach it much. And it's so easier. <laughs> and also short wigs. That's one of them, the most important advices I can tell to you. Finally, what everyone wants to know. Do you want to come to Brazil someday? É, finalmente agora, o que todos querem saber? Você pretende vir ao Brasil algum dia? Have news for you! <laughs> Coincidentally, I will go to Brazil this year! <laughs> <laughs> Brazil has been one of my favorite countries to want to visit someday. Uh, it's it's been one of my favorite ones because you have a lot of culture, a lot of uh, people. You like to dance and to have parties. You look, you are like Mexican and Mexicans. Uh, I love Mexico, and since you look a lot. Uh, f because you're like friendly and you love to hug and you love to dance and to sing that's why uh, I would lo I would love to visit Brazil and Sugireto Sugireto store invited me to her event I will be special guest on May 26 it's on Saturday and it's it will be 26 and 27 of May I think and I will there in the Sugireto's store a special event please contact her because she's the one organizing this special national event and i feel very happy very happy to finally meet you all i hope you can go there because i want to meet you everyone every single lolita in brazil i would love to and i feel very glad i will finally visit brazil one of my favorite countries of whole time <laughs> thank you so much to Hideto. thank you so much to all of you who wanted to get me interviewed I feel very honored because you Brazilian Lolitas have been very warm to me. I love you so much. I will feel very glad to finally meet you all. Please don't miss this event. And uh, I would love to take photos with you. I would love to be and to talk. I, I want um, my Portuguese is not very good. I say like basic words as muito obrigada <laughs> and some things like that. I promised to study a lot of Portuguese so then we can talk in Portuguese in your native language and please be patient with me. I speak English so-so. I hope to speak Portuguese more fluently and I also hablo español. <laughs> Para todas las lolitas que eh, puedan sepan español, las lolitas brasileñas, pues eh, es mi lengua natal, así que puedo hablar español. I also speak Spanish eh, and I hope to speak a little more of Portuguese. I promise. I will be starting hard for you. And please don't miss this event. Thank you so much for uh, hearing me, for listening 
listening to this interview. I admire you so much, beautiful Lolitas of Brazil. Uh, thank you so much for interviewing me, Rodriguez Candy. Thank you so much. Please subscribe to her channel because she uh, she does a lot of interesting Lolita things and fashion things, issues and facts you can watch uh, in her social media. So please follow her. Uh, you won't regret it. And thank you so much for listening to me. It's, it's a very high honor to be in Brazil. I've been feeling very warm. You are so incredible, so friendly. I will feel very, very glad to finally meet you all. Please don't miss this event. I really want to meet you all. And uh, see you later. Thank you so much. I hope uh, I you already understand me. <laughs> I'm sorry if my English is very bad, but I, I will also try to improve it. And uh, see you later. Um, I, I want to salute you uh, for all the Mexican community. Please visit us. I will do my national event on March on 2020 in March, March 14 and 15. Please don't miss it. Uh, it this will be a very interesting opportunity to meet uh, Lolita's uh, Lolita Mexican Lolita community. So thank you so much. I send you a lot of kisses, a lot of greetings. <laughs> Gracias and see ya later. It was Breeze Blossom. Thank you so much. <sniffs> Greetings from Mexico to all the beautiful Brazilian Lolitas. Thank you so much. Hugs. <sniffs> Kisses. Muito obrigada. And thank you y muchas gracias. Bye. <laughs> Bom, gente, esse foi o vídeo. Eu espero muito que vocês tenham gostado. É, foi minha primeira entrevista, então eu espero que vocês gostem. Pretendo, sim, trazer mais entrevistas com outras pessoas. Peço pra vocês me comentarem aqui embaixo, me dizendo o que vocês acharam da entrevista. E também, me digam pessoas que vocês gostariam que eu entrevistasse em vídeos futuros. Talvez daqui a algum tempinho eu volte a fazer entrevistas. É, não se esqueçam de deixar o seu like, é, se inscreverem no canal, ativarem o sininho pra não perderem os próximos vídeos. E é isso, Bruce Blossom, I just want to say thank you so much because you are a big inspiration for me and to interview you is a dream come true. I really love you and I really hope I can meet you soon. Kisses, dear friend, bye bye. Tchau, gente, até o próximo vídeo. Tchau.